Located three miles off the coast of Miami, marked only by a buoy, lies the Neptune Memorial Reef, bathed by the warm Atlantic Gulf Stream at a depth of 45 feet. It's an artificial reef with a twist and certainly one of the most unique dive sites in the world. Once below the surface, a surreal vision begins to materialize. One thing's for sure, you're certainly not in Kansas anymore. This unique Oz-like destination is the resting place for the cremated remains of individuals who were fond of the sea. It will soon be one of the largest man-made reefs, which doubles as an underwater cemetery. Originally, it was going to be called the Atlantis Memorial Reef, and it took on the look of, an, of a lost city. And the purpose of the reef was to create marine habitat and restore, uh, as well as habitat, restore coral growth off the Florida coast. The reef, designed to hold the cremated remains of more than 100,000 individuals, will eventually span 16 acres of ocean floor. It'll be a giant circle like a bicycle wheel with roads that are 900 feet across. To design the project, uh, Kim Brandell had to keep in mind he wanted to build a lost city look out of concrete and steel with huge, massive structures. The columns themselves are 14 feet high and several feet in diameter, and there will be hundreds of these columns. They even sprayed latex in the molds before the concrete was poured on the columns to create microscopic bubbles on the sides of the concrete. Making it easier for marine life and coral to adhere to the surfaces. Kim designed a lot of protection for reef fish, so when you dive it, you'll see little cubby holes and places for them to be protected from the predators. And then, of course, the predators move in, and it's very exciting to see the neighborhood, if you will, uh, come to life. We refer to this as life after life, so people can give something back rather than take something away from the environment. A diverse array of people from varying backgrounds choose the reef as a burial option. My father is a pioneer in Caribbean scuba diving. He learned to dive off of Key Biscayne in the 40s, 1947, and we ran a scuba operation, scuba diving business for more than 30 years. At 90, he was awarded the, uh, he was instituted into the Guinness Book of World Records as the oldest active scuba diver. Upon his passing, his request was that his ashes be spread off of Key Biscayne where he first learned to dive. And Bird's wishes were fulfilled when a portion of his ashes were mixed with cement, fitted into a mold, and placed on the reef. This was to be dubbed Bird's final dive. Bert was a contractor for many, many, many years and dealt with a lot of concrete. And never in a million years did he ever figure that his, his ashes would be mixed into that concrete. What you choose to be cast as is only limited by your imagination. If somebody wanted to be a starfish, and you'll see some people there that are starfish, then their, their mold is actually a starfish mold, and when that's all set up and complete, we affix the bronze plaque to that, and then take it out and affix it to the reef. About half of the individuals have had a family member or loved one actually come and do the mixing process. So, so um, I felt good that I could do something a little more for him. I know that, they, that he always have a spot somewhere that I can go visit if I wanted to visit, even though I still have half of him here, but you know, I, I, it's just the idea of knowing that, that, that I can do something a little more other than just passing his ashes out at sea. Juan knew right away that the welcome gate was the perfect spot. My dad always had his arms open for everyone and anybody, and, and, and I felt that that was my best place to put him is in the welcome gate where everybody can just come on in. The Neptune Memorial Reef leaves little room for doubt about an afterlife. It's a growing and evolving marine habitat and dive site, 
which has provided a home and shelter for all of its new inhabitants. A magical mixture of sun and spirit brings this lost city to life for generations to come and a chance to give back to the environment forever.